Reckless talk. Son of a justice. Hey, reckless talk. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in sore. I'm a real one. Check my fabric. Down from the Kenya Gunners TV. So tell me, how's the how's the game? Disappointing. I'm really, really disappointed. Mm -hmm. uh, well, basically, uh, the way the game actually went didn't go according to my expectations. Mm -hmm. If you watch the preview, but either you did earlier on, by the way, my prediction was uh, three nil, right? Exactly. Uh, and uh, the scores were two uh, nil. My two two one. Uh -huh. Actually, I expected a score from Arsenal, from Arsenal. which uh, they didn't. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, uh, it's quite a disappointing game. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Mm. Yeah. So what 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 are your expectation? So my expectation is basically uh, going by the way we played mm -hmm. the game against uh, MLS, MLS. Mm -hmm. and FC Nuremberg. Actually, forget about forget about the FC Nuremberg game. By the, the MLS Hostels, mm -hmm. we looked very sharp. We looked like uh, there was some form of genuine by the between the players. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was more like now looking at it back now, it was more like in one of those simple games because uh, MLS Hostels was just not. It was just not on the level of. Uh, these Premier League teams. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rooney has a lot to do with by that team. Furthermore, you can't you can't compare MLS with United. You definitely cannot compare, by the way. So the thing I'm, the, the thing that I'm actually glad with, uh, uh, and I actually said it before, uh, I wanted us to be tested a bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad by the way that we've been tested by, you know, a tough side. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives us uh, an opportunity to, to know exactly what to fix. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, how was the second half? Uh, when you compare to the first half, actually, what do you feel? Or rather, let me put it this way: mm -hmm. what on your end? Uh, yep. uh, what do you think Ateta could have done? You know, at least to make the game look more, you know. Uh, okay. So the thing is this: there is nothing much you'd have done other than what he did, because mm -hmm. he did he did everything, but he used all the players that he had at uh, his disposal. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that I feel I probably maybe switched up and I slightly improved the game mm -hmm. was the switching of uh, Tierney with, and Smith. Uh, yeah, Tierney and Smith. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember when uh, Tomiyasu, but there was a left back. Mm -hmm. Man, that is where actually the goals mm -hmm. came from. I mean, Anthony had that game in his pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so disappointed with the second goal from Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Man, that's that was so, for lack of a better term, that was so stupid by the way of him. I mean, how do you just allow somebody just man a whole defender mm -hmm. that was so silly by the way uh so like i think to answer your question i think ateta did everything uh he had as he had uh at his disposal mm -hmm. so well it's a, it's a game to give us a it's a game to probably let us know exactly what you need to fix to challenge you yeah to, to challenge, challenge the us. manager uh -huh. yeah to challenge them not even the manager the mm -hmm. players the players because the, yeah, yeah. uh -huh. the thing is this if you look at uh a player like uh, Tomiyasu. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, let's give the guy the benefit of doubt. It's his first game, but after an injury, an injury. Mm -hmm. so after quite some time, I don't know if it's three months or four months. I'm not really sure, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and he clearly showed by the way that man, he has a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the player that was actually quite uh, okay. Let me not say disappointed. Mm -hmm. No, let me say disappointed. But there was Declan Rice. Rice. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll give him the benefit of doubt. It's only his second game. So these guys, there's still a lot of gelling, but they to do. You remember, Jaka left. And, 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 and another thing, another thing. Let me the, let me just cut you short, yeah. man. You can't expect Rice to play, to to be you know controlling the whole of uh, Arsenal mid. mid because yeah. uh, we were watching the game. Huh? Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't see much of Rice. Or, or rather, let me just let, let me not put it Rice. The whole of Ante uh, Anini Ateta's. Uh, Midfield mm -hmm. because uh, Rice couldn't couldn't play. Uh, him. No, no, definitely. He, mm -hmm. I mean, he, he didn't turn up. He didn't turn up at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said, I'll give the benef the benefit of doubt mm -hmm. in being. Uh, I mean, he's he's just new, but in the camp, he's in uh, the camp. First, first game also. This is the second game. Second, the first game he played, but he MLS. Just, yeah, MLS, but he just came in for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Today is he, he was able to play the. F he actually probably played. seventy seventy. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He played first half and then came off by the, the second half. The second half, he, uh, no, second half he, he played. He played a bit and then he came yeah. off. Something like after yeah. 70. Yeah. yeah. So with Declan Rice, mm -hmm. the thing is this. Uh, what I'm really hoping is that I'll tell you one thing about Arsenal players. Arsenal players are loud. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. we are loud and we demand so much by the from players what i hope by this is that you know we don't put so much pressure by the on this guy to a point by to a point he flops because uh I the mean, likes of maguire yeah? the likes of maguire <laughs> i mean look at maguire by the maguire was one of them when he was at least a maguire was is maguire was yeah he was up. yeah he was turning up yeah. actually but uh today's game i rate him four four point five four no I'll give him. I'll, I'll actually <laughs> even give him a, a six. No, six. Because today's game, by the played very well. By the way, in the sense that uh, probably maybe the fact that he was stripped of his captaincy, the pressures of his shoulders. Exactly. So exactly. like uh, less less expectations by the uh, from the fans. Mm -hmm. So, so what else is he was playing himself now his he normal he game himself, that they, is uh, the Mag the Maguire each and every person no that is uh, when he was in Leicester right. Yeah. At least, uh, mm -hmm. so what I pray and hope for, but is just that that pressure, but it doesn't get to Kai Havertz, that pressure doesn't right. get to Declan Rice. Mm -hmm. Now, let me talk about Kai Havertz, mm -hmm. uh, bro. That's a player that people have so much expectation, expectations from, especially me. 65 million by this, several guys, mm -hmm. several guys, junior man, mm -hmm. several guys had so many doubts by the towards the price we bought the guy. So, if he doesn't turn up, but then live to the expectations. It just be one of those flops, by the way. It's just going to be another William. But you know, the man, the, the manager believed in in him. That's why he believed in him. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just pray and hope that uh, the system that Ateta is building suits him. I'm pretty sure Ateta saw something in him. Yeah, definitely. For 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 him pushing for you know just telling the Arsenal owners like yeah, give I them what they want, game. give yeah. them all they want. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he saw something in him. Yeah, definitely. He saw something in him. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, uh, different players tend to flourish in different systems. Mm -hmm. So let's just hope that the system that uh, Atet is building mm -hmm. suits him. Uh, Talk about the striking. Bro, we need, we need another striker. We definitely need another striker. Why? I think... I think oh. The you people, this, you, you no, people. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I probably feel like we need another striker. Mm -hmm. Number one, by the way... Uh, Remember, mm -hmm. last season, by the way, we 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 fell off. By the way, mm -hmm. we basically, for lack of a better term, by the way, capitulated. By the way, towards the end of the season, mm. uh, owing to the fact that probably maybe we didn't have experience, mm -hmm. owing to the fact that we had injuries, mm -hmm. uh, that has been sorted. Mm -hmm. The fact that we capitulated by the towards the end of the season, mm -hmm. we've gotten so much experience from that. That's a lesson, by the way, that we learn from that. Mm -hmm. Injuries that has been sorted. Salib was injured, he now has his, his replacement. Exactly. Party was injured, he was injured most of the time on and off. He now has he now has his so right. in terms of squad depth, whether we have squad depth. Mm -hmm. Uh so the reason why I feel like your question was why do I feel like we need a, we need we need another, another striker? So now mm -hmm. we are basically competing with Man City. Do you know what, what Man City has? Man, Man City has that alien, Man City has that beast, Haaland. And mm -hmm. you know Haaland by this just uh, uh, that a beast. He's a beast. He's a beast by the way. So like we we need a striker but who's able to compete in the ha in, in, in Haaland's level. Mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. he's he, he's a good striker, but, uh, but he's not a very good striker. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We need a very, very good striker. And he's an injury pro. <laughs> he's an injury prone player as well. Uh -huh. So that's the thing. That's the thing. We need we I feel like we need that we need another striker. Other than Jesus, man, we can't rely on Eddie. We can't rely on okay. Balagoon, we haven't seen much of it. Mm -hmm. Much of him ever since he came from uh from Lon. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can't trust Eddie. Mm -hmm. Neither can I trust Balagoon but at the moment. So I feel like we need we need we definitely need another striker. A striker that is going to be in a position to compete with Haaland. Mm. Okay, uh, talking uh, on the still same point yeah. on the striking position mm -hmm. on today's game. Yeah. Do you feel uh, who was it? The striker? Uh, Jesus. G no, not Jesus. Eddie First Ketia. Up, Ketia. Yeah. Do you feel Ketia no. was a flop? Flopped today? <sighs> Bro, the thing the thing with Ketia by the okay, for me, no disrespect, but the ideas made his contributions. Mm -hmm. But Eddie has been given so much time by the he's been given so much opportunities by the coach by the to prove himself. Understand that understand that during training by the way, he has the ability, he's always showing the ability and the capability of a good striker. Mm -hmm. But in terms of now when the game the real game, the now. real game, if the guy doesn't turn up, he doesn't turn up. 
So the thing about it is more of like a flip flop kind of player. Mm. There are times he turns up. Like you remember, man, there's a time the game that we played with you guys uh, last season at the Emirates. Yeah, yeah. Who scored by the, the first goal? <laughs> Edin Ketia. Who scored the last goal by the end? Actually, got as the bragging rights. Edin Ketia. Yeah. But then after he got an injury, that's the time by the. AD but they, but they talking on to, talking talking on injury, mm-hmm. man. I'm talking uh, from experience. I know there's some good players. Actually, Man United has had mm-hmm. some good players uh, who just didn't show up after the, after after, the injury. After, after time Look at injury. someone like uh, Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Do you know Rooney was one of the best player in the in the world? He was. He was. Santi Cazola. Oh, Cazola. Uh-huh. Yeah. So like. So with the with the with the with the with the injury, I think, man. No injuries have a way of actually writing off a player and actually mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but the thing is this, bro. As much as I. No excuse. No excuses, but the on injury, today's game actually, mm-hmm. uh, on my end, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say guys to you know, fail that much from uh, Ketia simply because, uh. uh he was more like relying on 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 the midfield. So the he wanted to. Huh? The thing is this, by the just to answer a question, by the mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. basically just to understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I also can't blame Inkecha that much, by the because the middle the middle was the middle was, the mid was, was completely, completely dead, shambles. man. It was completely in shambles. Yeah. So there's no supply, by the way. Yeah. But now we are now talking as a whole, a whole. as a general oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of the way we watch AD play. Mm-hmm. AD just doesn't turn up. He's just not the eight. Facts. No disrespect, Eddie, <laughs> but in Kate is just not the eight. So we definitely need another striker. You know, it's a big blow because uh, United, we didn't have a striker today. <laughs> have you noticed that? We played mine as a striker, a pure striker, because we played... <laughs> right. But, but uh, Ganacho, Sancho. <laughs> Sancho isn't a striker. <laughs> right. So, man, it's all about the player himself. You know, just... yeah. But congratulations, you guys actually played very well. I'm mm-hmm. um, seeing there's a lot of uh, gelling, there's a lot of uh, winning mentality. The, the, yeah, the, the, the winning mentality definitely. Uh, Tenag, Tenag is actually doing very well with the team. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, let's see. Let, let's see you guys. I think it's, we're meeting with you guys. Uh, it's the fourth game. Fourth game? The fourth game. So we'll be looking forward to that. Will you revenge? Definitely will revenge, bro. We'll be here <laughs> and we'll have that conversation. <laughs> Thank you, thank you.